What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 119 of the Portfolio Update. So hopefully you guys are doing awesome, I definitely am. I, I've been seeing all the red in the portfolio, so uh, it's very exciting to uh, see what we have been doing this past week. Uh, hopefully you guys have been buying the red and uh, you know we are long term investors so this should uh, pay off in the long term. But uh, anyways, in this episode what I do have is I will be showing you the portfolio, what I did this week, what I bought, what I sold, any dividends that came in. And then we're gonna jump over. I'm gonna show you four companies that are expected to uh, actually raise their dividends. Uh, these companies are in my portfolio, so I will be showing you those four companies. And uh, you know, so definitely be sure you stick around to that. Let me know in the comment section if you own any of those four companies. Uh, and then we're gonna wrap up the video by uh, going to Personal Capital, grabbing the latest uh, you know copy of our portfolio, and then uh, you know kicking off the scripts from uh, the Google Sheets and. Uh, kicking off the projection, seeing how much our dividend snowball grew this uh, past week. Because remember, no matter what the portfolio is doing, uh, this dividend snowball continues to grow every single week. And uh, that is very motivating. And again, you know, these scripts here, I do have these uh, completely available for free. All I ask in return is that you subscribe with that bell notification and drop a big thumbs up on my videos so that you can help out the channel grow. But uh, anyways, if we quickly look here, you'll see that our quarterly dividends, we are about to start Q1 of 2022, which is very, very exciting. Uh, we're actually going to wrap up the month of January. We're just actually waiting on the dividend from JP Morgan. If I look at another script that I do have that uh, pulls up all the latest coming up dividends, uh, you'll see that JP Morgan is expected to pay out on the 31st of uh, January. And uh, that would actually be the last dividend for January. Then we would start off with uh, APD on the 14th of February. And then uh, we start off. Uh, February dividends and then you can see all the March ones so I'm really excited for the March ones they're usually the best uh, but uh, the other one here Avi you'll see that Avi's had that dividend increase for us almost a 9% which is pretty awesome that increases the snowballs much larger much faster and uh, you know it's always exciting to see this and now we're gonna actually have four more companies that are gonna basically be doing that so I will be showing you that in a little bit but uh, if we look at the dashboard you'll see uh, overall quarterly we see this growing growing uh, these small balls uh, I guess these are really uh, I guess they didn't go up is because I was readjusting my portfolio so that did take a little bit of a hit but uh, over the long term you should start seeing this uh, trend upwards uh, as well for the annual dividends you see this going up so it'll be exciting how we uh, wrap up 2022 I actually covered how my performance was for 2021 in this dividend growth portfolio so if you are interested and you haven't watched it be sure to check it out I'll try to remember to put a card on the top right of the video uh, otherwise just check it out in the the video description uh, but uh, yeah guys uh, overall portfolio is at $198,860.53 uh, you'll see that actually the portfolio it has recovered some uh, it actually tanked all the way from like 214 ish thousand and the reason is because i'm very very heavily invested into tech uh, that is where most of my money is in this portfolio uh, you'll see cash balance is 50 dollars uh, this is probably from our referral so uh, you know thanks so much guys i'll show you that in the activities in a little bit but uh, if we look here at the sub pies you'll see tech uh, it does it's actually really overweight and that is because we have just gotten some amazing returns and uh, you know we're gonna eventually uh, try to uh, you know get these to the correct weights but uh, you know I don't want to sell out and readjust I just want to continue to add more into the underweighted uh, sub pies uh, consumer is one of the ones I'm trying to build up some uh, and that is actually going to be target uh, target has been the one I've been buying heavier you'll see it's around $217 uh, I think that's a pretty good deal for me right now uh, and then I will continue to average into the portfolio you'll see we have about eight shares going close to nine shares so it's very exciting to see that if I show you the holdings, uh, you'll see that um, unrealized gains, you'll see tech as the one that has just been outperforming, has been returning those gains. So Nvidia, 
500% uh, return, Microsoft 120, Apple 117, and then 88% uh, on Skyworks. And you can, you guys can see all these returns, which are very, very uh, nice, uh, but uh, they don't help out the dividend snowball. And, you know, I don't mind uh, both dividend growth, uh, so I, I don't mind getting capital appreciation plus the dividends and uh, growing those dividends. Uh, but as you'll see that my portfolio is very dependent on tech and how tech performs so that is why you see the massive uh, moves which if i actually show you guys the s p 500 here you'll see that uh currently uh this was actually i believe the 28th uh, you'll see close to the market it actually closed up in the green but if we look at the six month here you'll see at the very top uh, you'll see that we actually dropped all the way to like about 9.8% or so, close to 10%. And, uh, you know, we actually started moving upwards. I don't know what the market will do, but you guys already know that I'm going to continue to dollar cost average no matter what it's doing. Uh, you'll see it, this could go up and then start going back down. You know, as you'll see here, if we scroll down a little bit, stock market crash expect uh, experts warn of 41% drop in S&P 500. These are just articles that, you know, want to scare you. We're going to continue to dollar cost average. Try to, you know, continue to buy the dip and, uh, you know, we will see in the long term because it will pay off. Uh, if we look at the QQQ. Uh, you'll see that it actually closed uh, up green as well. But if we look at the six month, uh, you'll see from the very top, uh, which was close to around here, we've dropped about 15%, uh, uh, which is a huge drop. That's actually a correction. Anything over 10% is a correction. And then I believe anything over 20 is a crash. Uh, and then if we look uh, up here, it actually moved up some. Uh, over the long term, guys, we're going to continue to dollar cost average. So you'll see that that's why my portfolio has tanked some because I am heavily invested in tech, which if we look at the value over time real quick, you'll see uh, if we look at the one month, which I guess maybe the one quarter would be the best one. You'll see that we were trading right around 217,000 and then uh, we moved downwards, guys. And then now we're finally recovering some. But if we look at the gains, we lost 2,000, about 1.28% for the quarter. But if we look at the one month, we lost 18,000, almost 8.48%. Uh, and then if we look at the overall, guys, you'll see we are up. Uh, so we're up about 81%. Uh, and over the long term, you see that uh, this trend is going upwards. So definitely i would consider you guys to dollar cost average into the portfolio no matter what it's doing uh this was the 2020 crash uh and you know now it looks like a little blip which is kind of what this uh dip is looking for so that is what i'm doing i'm going to continue to dollar cost average if i show you guys the activities real quick uh you'll see uh, what i bought what i sold any dividends that came in if i can put the numbers correctly Alrighty, so we are here. If we look at the very bottom, you'll see on the 24th of uh, January, I went ahead and deposited $50, and then we did uh, two buys of $150. Uh, so this one is from uh, JP Morgan. We bought $50 of JP Morgan, and then $100 of Target. So uh, actually, let me show you JP Morgan. So we bought it at $142, which is uh, pretty awesome there. And then I can show you the Target one as well because I think that was a pretty good deal there. Uh, $215. And uh, we almost bought half a share on the 25th. We did two buys, which we basically just bought the same uh, companies. And this is just repetitive, which is all I did. I just did $50 deposit on the next day. And then I did one buy, uh, which was Target. And then that was $50 Target. And then we deposited uh, 1,200, but that's for M1 borrow. And then we did another $50 the next day. And we did uh, a buy of $50. So it's $50 every single week that I bought and the reason why I did that is because I'm limited on funds right now so I am uh, just trying to dollar cost every every single day on the week uh, and you know I wish I could have done more but at the moment I'm tied on money so uh, you'll see on the 28th of January we did I uh, actually got one referral which was $50 so thank you so much for whoever signed up let me know in the comment section if you were the one that signed up 
Uh, so M1 is running a promotion where you, if you open up an account, deposit $100, you get $50 uh, in sign up bonus when you use my referral link. So that is a 50% return on your money, which is uh, pretty awesome. They're actually running this until March. So definitely take your opportunity if you were considering opening an M1 account. It's a pretty great platform so far, uh, but uh, you know, that's 50% return. And uh, it's amazing because especially right now that the market is red, uh, those $50 uh, are worth way more because you can buy uh, more of the great companies that you were considering buying so uh, definitely take advantage of it uh, check it out in the video description uh, and then let me know if you signed up with uh, my referral link uh, but then on the 28th guys you saw we deposited another $50 we did one buy and uh, that was actually on fa uh, Friday and you'll see 211 which is a great price for Target uh, so you'll see every single week I uh, well, I guess every single day of the week I went ahead and bought $50 and uh, it was pretty amazing guys we actually did not get any dividends but I will show you this uh, green button which calculates all the dividends we got for the week uh, so I will go ahead and click on it and uh, we got zero dividends for this week but uh, next week we should get JP Morgan's, which will be a very, very, very juicy dividend. But uh, if you are interested in this script, I do have a tutorial again. It's in the video description, I think. Otherwise, just look at my channel. It's one of the playlists. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's completely free. All I ask in return again is that you're subscribed with that bell notification and you drop a big thumbs up on my videos to help out the channel. Uh, and uh, you know, if you have any other ideas of scripts that you think would be very useful to the investing community, let me know in the comment section so that we can, uh, you know, I can actually note them down. And uh, whenever I get some time, we can see if we can create those scripts, guys. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and jump over to actually show you the four companies that are expected to uh, declare the dividend raise uh, this coming month uh, they are in my portfolio so there are companies that uh, you know I own uh, so the first one is going to be air products and chemicals which I showed you guys in a previous video this one uh, for some reason they are running a little bit behind on the dividend increase but uh, just quickly to recap Dividend summary, uh, I guess, yeah, if we look at the dividend summary, dividend yield is about 2.16%. Uh, annual payout, they do about $6, and then uh, payout ratio is about 64%. Uh, Five-year CAGR is about 12%, so hopefully we should get a 10% raise. We don't know. We'll see what happens when they declare it. They've been growing their dividend for 39 years, guys. And then uh, if we look at the dividend history, I can show you why I think uh, they will be declaring the raise so if we look at this data here you'll see that typically the the time that they raise their dividend is usually the first quarter which is a dollar and ten cents this is the first quarter of the next year a dollar 16 and then the next quarter a dollar 34 and if we look at the time they declare it is a, a january 25th a january 24th january 23 january 28th so uh, hopefully we should see this this coming week with a declared rate. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the second one, which the second one is 3M, guys. So 3M uh, has a dividend yield of 3.63%. Uh, they pay out a total of $5.92 for the year. And then payout ratio is about 58%. Uh, Five-year CAGR is about close to 6%. Uh, and then uh, they've been paying out I guess they've been growing their dividend for 63 years. Uh, well, they've been increasing at 63 years. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to get most likely like a penny increase uh, from 3M. But if we look at the history, guys, you'll see that uh, if we look from 2019, uh, you'll see that the first quarter is when they actually raise it. So $1.44 and then $1.47 and then $1.48. So they've been increasing it by about a penny. Uh, on the last couple years, uh, you know, and typically they announce it uh, February 5th, uh, February 4th, February 2nd. So hopefully uh, there's actually this coming week we should see a raise from uh, 3M. Let me know if you own 3M and you're excited for the dividend raise. Uh, but the third one, guys, here is going to be Home Depot. So Home Depot, if we look at the actual dividend scorecard first, uh, you'll see that uh, the dividend yield is about uh, 1.80%. And then uh, annual payout, they pay about $6.60. And 
payout ratio is 43 percent uh and then the five-year kager is 19 percent that's pretty insane guys and then uh the dividend growth is about 12 years and if we look at the dividend history i will show you guys when they expect to raise it so if we look at the last couple of years uh, you'll typically see that a dollar and three cents uh, they raised it on the first quarter a dollar uh, fifty a dollar sixty five so if we look at the declared dividends uh, this is usually february 20th february 25th february 25th and then february 23rd so closer to the end of february is when we should expect a dividend raise from home depot and that will grow that dividend snowball let me know if you guys own any home depot and then the last one guys here is uh waste management so waste management is uh dividend yield is currently a uh, 1.56 percent and then uh, they actually pay out about two dollars thirty cents uh pay ratio is about 48 percent and then the five-year kager is about seven percent so hopefully we should see a seven percent uh dividend raise uh, we will see how that plays out uh, on the dividend growth is about 18 years and if we look at the dividend history guys uh, if we look at the last couple years you'll see that typically the first quarter is when they raise their dividend uh, 51 cents 54 cents and then 57 cents and um, they usually declare it uh, around uh, February 19th February 19th February 18th February 23rd so closer to the end of February as well for waste management but uh, this is really exciting uh, this is actually all the dividends that are expected to uh, raise their dividend and uh, my portfolio so let me know if you guys own any of them uh, in the comment section uh, but let's go ahead and jump over to the Google Sheets uh, so I can show you guys uh, you know all the scripts that we're gonna kick off and then we can uh, see how the portfolio dividend snowball grew all right guys so we're at the Google Sheets uh, you'll see I went ahead and already made a copy of this so we can see the differences. Uh, probably dividend yield should increase. We will see if it did or not because remember the portfolio has moved downwards. Uh, but uh, if we look at the actual dividend payout, uh, we will actually go over here to uh, portfolio tools, get latest dividends. Uh, this should run and it should see if any new companies declared uh, dividends from our portfolio. So takes a second or two there it goes guys and uh, we just give it a couple seconds and all right guys so these are all the companies so far that have declared dividends uh, for the upcoming months and uh, you'll see again JP Morgan this is the one more expected and then we're gonna start off uh, oh Apple Apple declared a dividend so Apple is ex dividend date is February 4th and then uh, they will be paying out February 10th uh, so that is gonna be a juicy dividend for us because we own quite a bit of Apple now so that's very exciting and then APD will be the next one that pays out so definitely looking forward to these dividends uh, and then again all these scripts again guys are completely free all I ask in return is that you subscribe with that bell notification and you drop a big thumbs up on the videos but uh, I think it's a pretty good time to go ahead and go over here to settings, guys. We're going to see how much we grew that dividend snowball. We're going to go ahead and uh, delete this. And then I will see you guys over there in personal capital. We'll grab the latest version of our portfolio and see how much that dividend snowball grew. All right. So we're here at personal capital. You'll see this green button here. This is going to copy the content from uh, the portfolio into the clipboard. I have tutorials for all this stuff. So uh, we're going to jump over to the Google Sheets. Right click pay special values only we have the latest version of our portfolio now and uh, we can go over here to holdings and uh, go here to portfolio tools and you click update portfolio holdings and then uh, everything will get wiped it'll start using the new stuff that we just pasted and we'll jump over to the dashboard you'll see everything calculating guys and uh, actually dividend yield went down and that is because the portfolio did actually move up some uh, you'll see uh, yield on cost for the portfolio the dividend yield on cost actually went uh, down some so we've actually it's because we've probably been averaging uh, down and uh, some of the companies are actually up so that's why I went down 1%, but for the yearly dividend, you'll see that it's uh, $3,065.74 compared to $3,063.22. So we went up about maybe $3 or so, 
uh, for the month we went up about uh, a couple cents so 13 and then yeah about 21 cents is what we went up and then for the week we went up about uh, five cents uh, so every week we're making almost 59 dollars guys that is pretty awesome for the day we actually went up one penny so every day that goes by now we're making an extra penny uh, and then for the hours we're still making 31 cents every single well 35 cents every hour and then uh, hourly work wage a dollar 47 so this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week uh, you know they would get paid an hourly rate of a dollar 47 uh, eventually we're gonna try to get this to minimum wage that would be pretty awesome but uh, you know guys this is actually all I have for you in this video if uh, you stuck all the way to the very end be sure that you drop a hashtag raises because we are expecting some pretty juicy dividend raises this uh, coming month and uh, you know it's just gonna continue to grow that dividend snowball and that is the best thing about passive income remember guys all this red that's going on with the market anything about recession just continue to dollar cost average over the long term we will be uh, creating generational wealth and uh, you know we will be able to retire uh, and uh, you know again if you haven't subscribed be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification uh, and uh, drop a big thumbs up on the video uh, but i'll catch you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys